Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita and today we are excited to do a super detailed tool overview with you on the Craig 520 Pro and that's this jig here. This is a pocket hole jig. It's great for beginners. It's portable and very versatile. Craig came out with this product in 2021, so about a year ago and it's a great tool and we haven't talked a lot about it because we typically use the 720 Pro which is just one um, kind of one model up from this is just has a little more bells and whistles and that's the one we typically show in any of our tutorials so we've used this one though several times outside of blog uh, content and uh, so we're familiar with it but uh, it's not something we shared here with you so because our other video with the 720 Pro and then the older K5 model we have two different videos over here on YouTube uh, those are both really popular videos with you guys so I thought that I would do a 520 Pro video in case you uh, are thinking about buying this and you want to kind of see it see how it works before you buy it or if you just purchased one and you're trying to figure out how to use it and you don't want to dive into the manual you can watch this video to kind of get the gist of how it works and everything you can do with it so that's what we're doing in today's video so we want to thank you to uh craig for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring many of the projects on our blog uh we're so thankful to be able to work with them and then every project that we do work with them on it's a good thing for you guys because we always are able to share the free woodworking plans with you and those are always hosted over on craigtool.com all right, so let's jump in. I just wanna start by talking about some of the features of the 520 Pro uh, before we jump in and I show you how to use it. So again, this is a super lightweight, very lightweight, very portable pocket hole jig. It's like I said, it's one uh, model down from the 720 Pro. 520 Pro is a little bit cheaper. It's about $50 cheaper than the 720 Pro. So that's kind of the price difference. And I'm gonna walk through some of the feature differences to show you uh, if you're kind of trying to decide between a 720 or a 520, I'll talk through the differences in the video as we go. So the main things you need to know, uh, the differences between the newer models here versus the older models that Craig originally had is that it has an automatic clamping system. So this one works a little bit different than the 720. This one, you clamp it down by using this trigger, um, on the which is very easy to use, and this pushes the Versa clamp down onto your thickness of your wood and then to release it you just push this little lever and it will release so one big difference that I have found between the 720 and the 520 is you have to adjust the drill block to your thickness of your wood whereas the 720 it just has an automatic um, clamping system and you just clamp it down you don't have to adjust anything if you're changing back and forth through different thicknesses so that is one difference. You do have to um, manually change the drill block here. And to do that, it's pretty easy. There's two little gray buttons on the side of the drill block, block on both sides. And you do have to press those and then you can push or um, pull up on the drill block. So you can see there are a few different um, settings. You can use anything from a half inch wood, and this is your material thickness, a half inch wood, three quarter inch wood, or one and a half. So you'll be able to use two by fours when you use that one and a half setting. And then you can go down to anything as low as a half inch plywood. And then of course, all of your one by twos and one by three, four, those are gonna be the three quarter inch thickness. So this is, it's a little, uh, the first few times you use it, it can be a little tight and a, it can hurt your hands. A, I mean, I've got kind of weak hands. Um, but you if, you, if you're using, if you um, use your other hand to kind of help you if you need to, um, and then you just want to be sure the little gray pieces are snapped into the holes. You can see there's three holes there. So you want to be sure you're using the right type of um, adjusting for your material thickness. And let's just talk about what the box actually comes with when you open it for the first time. So this is my 520 box. It does, when you buy it, it will have like um, a colorful wrapping around it with packaging and pictures and it explains it. But once you've opened it for the first time, it's hard to use that um, over and over. So we ended up throwing that piece away, but we kept this nice blue box. It's um, got some handles right here. And then I just label it on the edge so I know what it is. Um, but we just keep everything here. It doesn't have a storage case or anything, but the box is pretty durable to use over and over. So what it comes with when you open your 520 Pro, you will get 
two boxes of pocket hole screws. So that's kind of nice. You're already started with some pocket hole screws. You get a, a 60 count of the one and a quarter inch screws and a 40 count of the two and a half inch screws. And these are both coarse thread for a uh, soft width. You will also get a face clamp. So this is great when you're getting ready to join your pieces together, you can clamp them and they'll be nice and flush um, when you're joining them. So that's handy to have that. And then oops, you have your driver bit and that's a square head. You'll always need to use a square head for any pocket hole joinery. The pocket hole screws all have a square um, top on them. And then it comes with this handy thing, this little hex wrench and thickness guide. So this is nice if you aren't sure exactly how thick your wood is and you don't have a, a measuring tape nearby, you can use this to check. So you can see right in there, you just press it against the wood and it gives you a little guide on how thick your wood is so you know how to set up the jig correctly. So we're using three quarter inch wood, so that's what we're gonna be using today. And then, it's not in here, so I'm gonna have to go find it, but it also comes with the drill bit. So let me pause and go find my drill bit. All right, I found one. Uh, that brings me to a good point and um, difference between the 520 and the 720. The 520 does not come with any built-in storage for your drill bits and stuff. So unless you're really good about putting them away and back into the box every time you use it, that is kind of one downside I would say about the 520 is that there's no built-in storage. Uh, whereas on the 720 Pro, which we use more frequently, there's built-in storage on the bottom of the jig. You can see here it's folded up. But on the bottom of this jig, there's a place for all these things. So that's kind of a nice little handy thing. Um, and you can see here, it does come with, this, this is the 720. This comes with a docking station. These wings fold down um, and it's a little bigger and stable. Whereas, the 520 does not automatically come with a docking station for the pocket hole jig just on the base model, but there is a docking station that is sold separately. And this is about 50 bucks. I think I just checked this morning. I think it's $56 to buy. So this is sort of an upgrade accessory for the 520 that you can get and it will attach to your 520 to make it into something that be, can be clamped to your workstation and that has storage in these wings. They'll pull up and you can store your drill bits and stuff in here. And it gives you just a little more stability um, and can be used a little easier on your bench top. Um, but again, that is extra. So the price difference between the 520 and the 720 is about $50. So um, if I, if I was gonna be planning on buying the 520 and I definitely wanted it to have some sort of docking capability um, and be able to clamp down to my workstation and have the storage, you're gonna have to buy this docking station anyway. And that price difference is the same as upgrading to a 720. So just kind of something to know if you're trying to decide between the two, but this one is definitely a lot more portable uh, and you can, it's a little more versatile. It's definitely more lightweight. So that's one benefit of the 520. Um, but as you can see, here I am losing my drill bits when I'm doing a video. So I prefer to have the storage kind of built in so I don't lose my things. Um, so this is the drill bit that will also come with your 520. These drill bits are super handy because you can see here, they have little marched um, etchings on the actual drill bit. It says half inch, three quarter inch, and one and a half. And this little stop color you want to adjust it so that this circle lines up with the material thickness you are using. And if you need to change it right now, ours is already set up at three quarters, but if you need to change it, you just use this little hex thing and you would loosen it up. Right now it's pretty tight. Loosen it up like that and then move it to whatever thickness you're using. Make sure it's nice and lined up perfectly so that it's not, oh, hard to do this with um, showing the camera too. There we go. And then you just tighten it back up. And you want it nice and tight so that your drill bit will stop at the perfect spot according to your thickness. So I guess let's just get started and I'll show you how to use this. Um, let's jump in. All right, so your first step is always gonna be to determine your material thickness okay. if you don't know it already and adjust your stop collar. And I've already shown you 
how to do that stuff. But again, keep this handy so you can see uh, quickly what your material thickness is if you don't already know. And then you'll be able to adjust your stop collar with this, uh, with also with this hex thing, which I just showed you how to do and make sure that the circle here lines up with your material thickness. So that's always step one. And then once you get your drill guide out, you wanna set up the material thickness. And again, I've already shown you how to do that just by pushing in these gray buttons and setting it onto the correct spot. We're using three quarter, so that is already done as well. Next, you wanna position your workpiece. And because we're just, I'm just using some scrap wood and demonstrating, I'm not worrying too much about exactly where I'm drilling my pocket hole. I'm just gonna put one in here. Um, so I can demonstrate, but there is a little bit of a method to the madness here for exactly where you wanna put your uh, pocket hole screw. And you always wanna keep it um, about five eighths to one and a half inches away from any edge of your wood. So we usually always measure in an inch from the edge. So that's kind of a, a guide there. And then when you're spreading them out, you always wanna get a pocket hole uh, screw every six to eight inches if you're doing a bunch in a row. So that's just kind of a little bit of a guide there. Um, but again, I'm just demonstrating here for you with uh, a scrap piece of wood and I'm just gonna put one in here just so I can show you how it works. So to clamp it down into place, you can see here I just slide it in and then I'm gonna use this gray lever, uh, this gripper, and I'm gonna grip it into place and it's very easy to use. You don't need a lot of strength in your hand to grip it into place. You wanna make sure it's nice and sturdy. Um, it has some rubberized uh, gripping system here, so it does grab onto the wood very easily. You can see here it's clamped in, it's perfect. Now, there are several different ways uh, that you can drill your pocket holes, and that's one of the things that makes the 520 so great is that you can do it several different ways. So this handle, it's actually pretty cool, it moves around, it's called the VersaGrip handle. It moves around 360 degrees, which is very cool. You can find a comfortable position um, that works for you, that, that's comfortable with however, how you're holding it. You can do it upside down, so that's super handy. And then the other thing is that you don't have to drill the pocket holes in on a bench like straight in, like you would traditionally. You can do it on its side you can do it like this, um, which is great if you have a big sheet of plywood you're drilling into and you don't wanna be able to lift it up or a long like eight foot piece of board. This is great because you can set it on its side, whereas you can't really do that as much with the other models. So that's one thing, definitely a selling point of the 520 is that it's versatile. You can move it around, you can move the handle around. So we love to use this uh, when we're taking projects out on the go, we're doing stuff inside the house in the backyard. Logan recently took um, the 520 to a project offsite that he was working on and he was able to use this kind of just very portable and a standalone on its own. Whereas the 720 we keep in our workshop and only use it on the bench top. All right, so now we've got our wood clamped into place and now it's time to drill our pocket holes and uh, join the pieces together that we're gonna be working on today. And so I've got my drill bit attached to my drill. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just demonstrating, so I'm just gonna put one pocket hole screw in here. So you can see there, that I drilled my pocket hole. And one thing I wanted to point out here, look at all this dust. Um, one difference uh, with the 520 is that there is nowhere on here where I can attach my shop back. Whereas with the 720, there is a connector here that goes into the side of my 720 in the side of the drill block and I can put my shop back in it. And it'll if I turn my shop back on, it'll suck out most of the dust created from drilling the pocket hole. However, with the 520, you just don't get that. So it's a little messier, um, as you can see, we've just got, I mean, it's just a little bit of sawdust, but um, one kind of key difference. So I've got my pocket hole uh, put in there and now we're going to just join these two pieces together. And I will demonstrate um, on our clamp table, 
This is a Craig clamp table and we absolutely love it for things like this uh, where you wanna join two pieces here at the corner with the pocket hole. If you all use your base clamp that comes with the 520, you would just put your pieces together and then just kind of line up the clamp so it goes right over the joined pieces and clamp them down in a place. And then there's a screw at the end of the clamp here that you can use to tighten or adjust the, the clamp. But I prefer to use our clamp table because that's why we have it. Um, so not only the clamp table is great because it'll clamp the pieces together, clamp them down, and it'll give me that perfect 90 degree um, that I'm gonna want for something like this where I'm joining like a face frame. So you get your pieces set up slide your clamps over so, sawdust there we go so slide your clamps over and then you can slide these around to make sure your piece is lined up at a nice 90 degree angle and then just clamp it I'm gonna put this clamp over here and then bring this one over to clamp All right, so we're nice clamped, we're square, we're good to go. All right, so now we grab our screws and um, one thing you definitely wanna keep your manual always around or handy, or you can print this out separately and just keep it in your box. In here is a great um, screw guide. So it's got in here a little table and I also have this posted on our blog if you're interested, um, but it's got uh, the screws, depending on how you're setting up your uh, material thickness and how you set up your stock collar, it'll tell you exactly what uh, screw length to use. So if that's something you never know what size screw to use with your pocket holes, keep that handy. So for three quarter inch uh, wood, we are gonna use an inch and a quarter screw. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this without bumping the camera here. Um, I got it at the right angle now. So, got everything clamp down my pocket hole screws in. And there you go. Great, so there you have it. That is how easy the 520 is to use. Uh, super simple, very portable, very versatile, great for beginners and kind of people that are wanting to get into woodworking and don't wanna buy the most expensive model, you can definitely get by. This one is a great option. However, um, it does come with a few limitations, which I pointed out, uh, and that's why we prefer to uh, use the 720 on a regular basis in our workshop, but we love having this one around to take with us. It's a lot more portable. Um, a couple other things I wanted to point out before we wrap up, um, some differences and some other features. This drill block can um, come out and you can replace this drill block with uh, the micro guide pocket hole drill block. And um, that's again, sold separately, but it's, a, it's another drill block that it drills slightly smaller pocket holes. So it's great if you are working with thinner pieces of wood or you need your pocket hole to be smaller so it's not seen on certain projects. We've used it. Um, on a few different things and it's come in handy and the 520 will accept that micro uh, drill block, but you definitely need the one that is made for the 500 series pocket hole jig. The one other thing that the pocket hole um, 520 jig cannot accept um, is it can't use the custom plug cutter, whereas the 720 can. So we've used that several times. It's great if you wanna make your own pocket hole plugs. You can do that with the 720. It's just a separate block, drill block that slides into the 720, but the 520 does not do that. So uh, the 520 is great if you're looking for something portable and a little bit cheaper, but if you're wanting to cut your own um, pocket hole plugs and you want to be able to mostly work on, on a workbench surface and have it clamped down and have a docking station built in, that's where you'd want to go with the 720. And again, we have a whole separate video on the 720, so you're um, welcome to check that out so you can learn more about that jig. But I definitely love this one and I'm happy we have it around. All right, guys, uh, thanks again to Craig for sponsoring today's video all about the 520 Pro. Uh, feel free to hop out down to the video description for links about all the different tools that I talked about and showed you today. And then while you're here, we would love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. We share weekly DIY and renovating videos just like this one. 
and let me know if you have any other questions about this 520 model or any other uh, tools that we showed you today. And then if you have any suggestions for future videos, things that you want us to dive into, let me know in the comments. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.